Prezi is an online software program that creates a dynamic appearance to presentations. This tutorial will show you how it can make your reports more powerful than PowerPoint. This video details basic setup, object creation, information insertion, layout organization, and transition animation. At the conclusion, you will have enough knowledge to create a presentation that will excite your audience, not bore them. To get started with Prezi, log on to the website to access the main menu of your account. Here you can review all of your presentations or create new ones. Click the blue box labeled New Prezi at the top left of the screen. The presentation program will begin to load. You'll notice an extensive list of pre-made templates that can be selected. This video is about learning the basics and starting from scratch. So instead of selecting a template, click the white box labeled Start a Blank Prezi to begin. After selecting the option to start a blank presentation, a blue circle frame with two text fields appears on the canvas. The first task is to set up a theme. This involves the color and style of your presentation. Click on Themes on the top menu bar. At the bottom of the menu, you will see an option to customize current theme. Select that option to change your style options. This is the Theme Wizard window. The diagrams in the middle show the elements of Prezi that you can adjust. The area below is where you can make changes. In this first sequential frame, you have the option to select the background color, upload 3D background, or use a customized logo. This tutorial will just cover changing the background color. To make a change to the background color, click on the square for the color of your choice. The changes made will appear in the viewer above. Click on the next button to scroll to the next sequential options frame. This frame allows you to change the font and color of the title, secondary title, and body of your presentation. To change the Title 1 font, Open the window tab labeled Title 1. A panel of font options will open. Select the font that you want for your titles. To change the color of the title font, select the colored square to the right. Repeat this process to change the fonts and colors of the other two text fields. Once you set your text field options, click Next at the bottom to move to the Shapes options. Here the colors of the frames and other drawing tools can be changed. To change the outline color of this circle, select the box with a new color that you want. To change the bracket frame and rectangle colors, select the color box of your choice. Use the same method to change the other drawing tools listed. When you are satisfied with the look, select Done to save the changes, which are immediately applied to your presentation theme. Navigating around the canvas is done using the mouse. To move the view about the canvas, left-click the canvas and drag the mouse. You can also click and move about the square canvas map in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. To zoom in and out of the canvas, either scroll the middle mouse wheel or use the pop-up window and click the plus or minus button to use the zoom. The other actions in the navigation pop-up window are a house icon that will take you to the overview of your Prezi and a lock icon that will lock your screen and prevent movement. Frames are considered the slides of Prezi. The information you want to showcase is stored in them. Prezi adds seamless flow between frames and the information contained. Frames can be placed in any position on the canvas, or they can be embedded within another frame to give a zooming effect. To add a shape frame, click on the Frames and Arrows tab on the toolbar above the presentation canvas. A drop box opens below with all the frame types you can create plus some line and arrow objects. Click on the draw bracket frame option to select this type. The mouse pointer will change into the frame creation tool. In shape draw mode, click on the canvas where you want the frame to start and drag the mouse when you have the frame size you want. Left clicking on the edge of the frame will activate it. From this point, you can use the mouse to move it around the screen if needed. To adjust the size of the frame, you can either use the plus or minus buttons on the center sizing window, or you can click the corner of the frame and drag your mouse until you reach the size you want. Frames and other objects can be rotated by hovering over the corner with the mouse. Wait for the mouse pointer to change the rotation icon. Now click the corner and rotate the frame in whatever direction you choose. To change the frame style, Click the center of the box at the top of the frame. This will open a drop box with the other frame types. The choices of frames are a circle, square, open brackets, and invisible frames. The invisible frames are designed to allow objects and information to be grouped together without really having a visible frame. A frame delete option is available on the above toolbar to remove the frame from your canvas. A variety of objects can be added to your Prezi, pictures, text, video, sound, and more frames. To add text, double-click anywhere you want to place it. A box appears where the text can be entered. After typing text, click outside the text window to exit text editing mode. 
If you want to resize the text, activate the text object by clicking on it. Then use the size tool or drag the corners. Inserting information can be done with the toolbar below or manually placing objects. To use the toolbar to set up the frame, click on the frame to zoom to it. Then select one of the styles at the bottom. If none of these fit what you want, choose blank and enter in the objects manually. To insert a picture, click the insert option on the toolbar above the canvas. Select the image option from the pop-up menu. On the right side of the screen, an image selection panel opens. You can load an image from file or link it from the internet. Select your image source, then wait for it to load. Once it is loaded, cropping and size adjustments can be made using the tools previously mentioned. Audio and video files can be inserted the same as pictures. Other objects like arrows and lines can be drawn as well. Click the frames and arrows option on the above toolbar. Select draw arrow or draw line, and then draw the object using your mouse where you want it on the canvas. To manipulate your object, Left click to select it, and then left click again on the squares to adjust the points. Move the points to change the appearance until you get the form you want. You can also use the above menu to change the size, fill, color, and delete the object. More frames can be added, as well as the objects mentioned. There are preset groups of frames that can be inserted called diagrams. A vast selection of styles is available. You can also draw your own frames within a frame. You can repeat drawing frames until you go about nine levels deep. The layout of the information in your Prezi is purely up to you. This is where your creativity will take over and make your presentation hold the interest of your audience. Once all the information is in place, the presentation path needs to be mapped. As you were creating objects for the presentation, the panel on the left of the screen was filling up with squares containing your objects. Prezi was already mapping your project for you. However, it maps according to the order objects are inserted. So if you randomly insert items, the presentation may not follow the order that you want. To make minor adjustments to the path, click the squares on the left to activate them, and drag them up or down and place them in the order that you want. Remember that the top of the frame is the beginning and the bottom is the end. This blue add button will also insert a frame that you can place new objects and information inside. To completely redo the presentation order, click the edit icon on the top right or right click the frame and select edit path. As you mouse over the frame, a red X appears at the top left. Click the X to delete the frame from the order. To exit this mode, click the done button on the far right of your screen. Don't worry, this will not delete your objects from the canvas, only the path of the presentation. Now, to rebuild the path, click the edit path icon to get into the edit path mode. Click on the objects in the order you want them inserted into the path. You will see the path lines being drawn from each frame and object. If you're having trouble clicking on smaller objects, Zoom in with the mouse to add them to the path. If you're happy with the path created and do not want to make any final adjustments, click done on the far right of your screen to exit the edit path mode. Test the paths to make sure that everything is correct. To do this, click the blue button at the far top right of your screen labeled present. This starts the presentation at frame one. After the presentation is laid out, you can decide to add fade animations between frames and objects. Fading helps control the audience's attention on the objects that need to have focus. To add a fade animation, enter Edit Path Mode. You will see these icons by the Edit Path order numbers. Clicking these icons will allow you to enter the frame animation mode. Once here, you can click on the objects you want to fade in. Remember, the order of your clicks will determine the order they transition. Now is a good time to make the animations on the paths between the frames and the objects. After you designate which transitions should have fade animations, click on the play button on the upper right of the screen. This now plays through the animation sequences. If you are unhappy with the setup, hover the mouse over the transition order number until a red X pops up. Click the X to delete the fade animation. Once you are satisfied with the animations made, click the blue done button on the top right corner of the screen. Click done again on the upper right to leave the edit path menu. Now the presentation should be exactly as you want it. Check it a few times to ensure it moves as intended. Now you are ready to present. From the main presentation screen, you can choose how to save, present, share, and embed your presentation. This choice is up to you. Now you have the skills necessary to go off and create dynamic presentations that will astound your peers. Enjoy!